Strategy simulation is critical to Formula One success. Oracle Red Bull Racing runs billions of simulations to build the strategic plans for each race weekend and react to what happens on the track. Leveraging Oracle technology, Oracle Red Bull Racing can run 25% more simulations and run them faster and more efficiently. So Formula One is constrained by regulation. I wonder if you could describe to us how you use data to optimize your performance within that regulated environment and get an edge over the competition? Yes. So uh, basically with COSCAP, we get regulations on curfew timings and so forth. So for example, this year, we're, the curfew at the track is going to start much earlier. So where before, after a Friday, I just told you all that extra mm. data we get, we might be working through into the very early hours of the morning. We're not allowed to do that anymore. So we use then uh, the power of the simulations um, and actually all the stuff from Oracle helps us run those simulations much quicker, which means actually we can run the same number of simulations now, but in a shorter time, which gives us the results faster. And then we have the time we need to think about it and write our reports. Whereas you know, if we were doing what we were doing a couple of seasons ago, then we wouldn't be able to get those results yeah, in time. Fantastic. So you can have the same quality of decision making exactly. in a shorter space of time and therefore meet the regulations. It's been said that races can be won or lost on the timing of the pit stops. Is that really true? Yes. So you could definitely uh, lose a race with a bad strategy and you can win one with a good strategy. So it is a very important role. Um, you know, it's strategy is really the the whole point of strategy is taking a look at the big picture of the race and working out how you can beat your competitors with what you have, what's the best thing you can do. So a lot of looking to undercut drivers, then might give you a track position, help you win the race, um, what you're going to do in a safety car or a VSC. So we're always thinking about what not just what we're going to do, but what our competitors are going to do. And then the combination of that is what helps you yeah, to win or lose a race. So Formula One is unique in very many ways compared with other sports. But one of the ways I think is there are so many real-time decisions taken off track, actually away from where the, the real competition is happening. Can you describe to me how you use data and is the number crunching real-time in making these off-track decisions? Before the race, uh, we will uh, have plans uh, for what strategy we're going to do. But actually in the race, uh, we will still have to react to things. So that might be um, a safety car. Obviously, we'll have come up with a plan for safety car windows, but something else might have changed. We might be in a different position to we were expecting. So there's a lot of real-time decisions to be made, but that's all based on the kind of uh, high-level data work that you've done beforehand. Um, however, we do get data in the race as well. So we are running live simulations, what I talked about before with all the overtaking paces, tyres. We're still looking at them in the race and updating those models. So you've got that data updating as well. Um, so it's not just about experience in the race, you're still using data. Fantastic. You know, very similar to, 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 to many organisations, you've got this combination of what was done before offline and then real-time information coming in. So can you explain to me and all of us, please, what really is a Monte Carlo simulation? And in particular, how does Oracle technology help you run these simulations? Monte Carlo is basically using randomness to help you solve a problem. Um, and we have lots of different variables that go into that. Um, and then we run billions of simulations, billions of races um, with loads of different things happening, which help us pinpoint exactly where our maximum point score is. Um, and then we kind of work from there. And Oracle have allowed us to do 25% more simulations than we did were able to run previously. And with what we were talking about earlier with kind of the time we're allowed to spend doing this analysis, getting shorter, that's invaluable. And it will also allow us to run more simulations, look at more things and have an edge on our competitors. It will indeed. And I'm sure the technology will go on performing better and better, going for more and more accurate simulations and, and, and decisions as a result. But things are changing constantly. I mean, that's a new car over there. And, and, and for example, the tyres are completely new. Does this mean you actually have to start from scratch every season? Um, not start from scratch, but 
yeah, the game is always changing, but that's what keeps it exciting. Otherwise, you just do what you did last year. So, yeah, the tyres particularly will be different this year. And that's why we've got winter testing to get data from. Um, and then usually what we'll do is we'll come up with kind of a ratio of how we think the tyres performed relative to the previous season. And then we'll use that for the first few races before we get an idea of the trend of the tyres this year. Um, so it's just basically we still need all that data. It's maybe a bit more uncertainty at the beginning and trying to do as much analysis as we can with the data we have and then build that database back up. So there's a bit of a sawtooth there at the start exactly. of every season and then you reconverge very quickly, exactly. but you're, you're building on it. So Hannah, there are increasing numbers of people in businesses in many industry sectors now with roles in many ways similar to yours, using large quantities of data to make vital decisions. What advice would you give to them if they're considering using cloud-based analytics to help them with their decisions? I would say go for it because I think the problem is often you get used to how you do things um, and kind of stuck in your ways. So definitely with data, we need to be moving forward and going with the modern technology and using Oracle has been extremely powerful for us and really helped improve things in a very short space of time. Fantastic. And I'm sure it will go on doing so. I can see from Oracle's perspective how things will develop. But how do you think from a Formula One perspective, how do you see the landscape changing in years to come? Um, so I guess there's been a lot of changes already since I started. There was a lot of things we used to kind of do um, almost on the back of an envelope or in an Excel spreadsheet, like very kind of basic calculations, which now are an integral part of software. Be a lot more machine learning. Um, there's just a lot more we can do with technology, a lot more that we're constantly learning. Probably, you know, in 10 years time, you wouldn't need me because the machines will all be able to do it. Um, so, yeah, it's just developing every day. And I've already seen a lot of change just in my time here. Catch the full show by visiting the link in the description. And always be on the lookout for our next episode of the Oracle Customer Spotlight series. You never know which company will shine a light on next.